Today we are talking about how to feel blessed. If you can feel blessed in your life, oh, all those challenges, all those problems, all those things that are holding you back, they're gonna go away. How is it we can do some amazing and sometimes unexplainable things? Like heal our own bodies by the power of our thoughts. Mother's intuition, the law of attraction. Can we really tap into our subconscious mind? Can we really create our own realities? It begs the question, are we novice gods? Today we are talking about how to feel blessed. Now let me tell you, if you are having struggles in life, if you're angry, if you're frustrated, if you're depressed or discouraged, if you can feel blessed, it will change your life. Absolutely will change your life. And, uh, and I share this from experience. Let me tell you a story. Let me tell you about the car ride that changed my life. Now, as I tell you a little bit about that, you may have pictures in your mind of this horrible car crash and how my life was saved and therefore I feel blessed and that isn't what happened at all. In fact, almost nothing out of the ordinary happened on this car ride. Uh, just backing up just a little bit of backstory. Before this happened, my life was in the toilet. I mean, seriously, the toilet. I was angry, I was frustrated, I'd pound my fist on and the desk at work, and, and a lot of people kept their distance, including my wife and my kids. They were worried about me, they were n nervous around me because I was just always so volatile. I was so in my head and so angry and frustrated. Well, I read these words that changed my life. They said, you can't be grateful and unhappy at the same time. And so I started to I started to look for ways where I could be grateful, ways the where I feel blessed. And what gratitude is, let me just explain that to you. Gratitude is recognizing you are the recipient of deliberate kindness. Well, I had started a gratitude journal and had not done very well writing in it. Uh, but I'd committed to myself that I wouldn't go to sleep until I had written in my gratitude journal. Three fortunate things that happened to me that day. Well, one night I remember I couldn't think of three things, let, one thing, let alone three. And I was angry and I was frustrated and I was tired. I'm dragging myself up to bed, but I had committed that I would write those three things. And I can't remember what I wrote that night, but I remember the next day that I committed to myself that I would not wait until the end of the day to find three fortunate things that happened to me. So I started looking and I remember I was driving through the canyon. I live up in the mountains up above Sundance and, and, and at that time it was a narrow road, you know, only one lane on each side. And, and when you got behind a slow person, you were behind them forever. Well, as I get behind this guy who's going quite slower than I am, um, I'm starting to lose my temper because that's what I did at the time. And just as I start to do that, he pulls off and I see my opportunity and I blaze on past him. And uh, wasn't that great? You know, I got away from this slow guy and then I look in the rear view mirror and I see him pull back on the, uh, on the road. And I realized it wasn't an accident that he pulled over. It, he wasn't stopping for something. It wasn't just an opportunity for me. He was showing me kindness. My life was blessed because he was showing me kindness. And at that time, I felt that's what I'm going to write about. That's what I'm going to do today is I'm going to write about that fortunate thing. And when I felt that way, when I felt blessed, when I felt gratitude, oh my goodness, all of a sudden I felt feelings I had not felt in years. And when I felt blessed, when I felt grateful for that kindness that he had shown me, that I didn't earn, that I wasn't worthy of, suddenly my life started to change. I hope that helps you out as you, as you kind of think about what the possibilities are for you when you truly feel blessed. So let me share with you, I'm gonna share with you five steps, five key ingredients to feeling blessed. Now the first one is to recognize what's going right in your life. Now Steve Jobs, who uh, helped found Apple and created so many amazing innovations, both within Apple and at uh, at Pixar, you know, with the things that they did there, he had a habit that before he'd go to bed at night, he would look back on the day and he would recognize what was going right. And he would write down what, ha what, what went right today. 
and he would focus on that. Now, if you can imagine, you know, working in the tech industry, there's a lot of things that can go wrong, but he consciously, deliberately would focus on what was going right. Now, another uh, little story for you. I, um, there's a guy that, uh, anyway, is somewhat acquainted with that I talked to on the phone. He was a college student and he was going through cancer. Can you believe that? Going through cancer at such a young age when you know you have such promise in life, but he was doing it really well and things were working out for him. And I asked him what the difference was with his attitude. And he says, well, I spend time each day recognizing what's going right in my life. Isn't that an amazing thing that as you think about, as you focus on what's going right in your life, you can start to feel blessed. You can start to feel like you are the recipient of deliberate kindness, be it from God, be it from the universe, be it from friends and family around, even strangers that will start to help change your life. Now, um, the second piece of that, which is so closely tied, is to express and to practice gratitude. I shared with you my story of driving through the canyon and this guy pulling over and letting me through. And then I felt gratitude, the recipient of deliberate kindness again. But you know what? I bet stuff like that happens all the time to me and to you. But we don't recognize it. We don't pay attention. We don't stop to, to stop to be conscious of all these wonderful things going on in our lives. So if you want to feel blessed, practice gratitude. Develop a habit um, of, uh, of writing in a gratitude journal each night before you go to bed. Write three fortunate things that happen to you and that will help you develop the skill of gratitude. And that is a wonderful, wonderful skill. Now, step number three is to forgive, to let go. So often we hold on to this baggage that just holds us back, just weighs us down. Now, if you caught an earlier episode with Richard Worthington, he actually was on with two episodes. He shared how this, how a car accident for him was this most fortunate thing because it helped him realize how fortunate his life was. And he was able to look and kind of spend some time with himself and realize that he had so much negative baggage that he wasn't letting go of because he had not forgiven. He had not forgiven himself. He had not forgiven others. And he said it was kind of like he was dragging a semi truck up the hill, you know, on a rope behind him. Check out that episode. He goes much more into depth with this, but recognize that forgiveness is actually a tool that will help you get rid of all the gunk in your life and help you feel lighter and help you feel clarity. One of the things he pointed out is that when he forgives himself and others, he, he remembers it no more. He says it is the quickest way to forgive self-limiting thoughts is to just quickly forgive himself. It's a wonderful thing. So check that out, Richard Worthington, uh, an earlier episode that we did. Now, uh, step number four is to, is to foster positive relationships. If you want to feel blessed, have great relationships. Now, Harvard did this amazing study. It's the longest study that, uh, that anybody's ever done. The longest longitudinal study, I think is what they call it. But uh, it's called the Harvard Grant Study. And what they did was they studied people uh, that had gone to Harvard and also this group that was from Harlem and, uh, and studied them through the years, more than 70 years. And they, you know, two of them became U.S. presidents. They had people that drank themselves to death. They had people who became CEOs and amazingly fortunate, uh, just you know, fame and fortune, all sorts of people in the mix. And they tried to figure out what is it that made the difference for happiness and a joyful, uh, well-lived life. And they said it basically came down to one thing. It was the quality of their relationships. So think about your relationships. Think about what you can do right now to foster positive relationships. And that, that can super help you out. Now, the last step to help you feel blessed right now, where you're at with what's going on with, in your life without anything else changing to make your life suddenly fortunate is to improve yourself daily. Start making progress. Start, you know, figure out what where you're at right now, but as you start to make incremental progress, and maybe you're doing that by paying attention to these, uh, this documentary series, maybe you're get, getting some insights here on how you can improve yourself, how you can get rid of limiting beliefs. Whatever it is you're doing, if you can make 
improvements in yourself, you're going to start to feel great. You're going to feel blessed. You're going to feel worthy and worthwhile. And when you do that, life just gets better and better. Hey friend, whatever you believe about yourself, it is too small. Whoever you believe you are right now is only a limited version of the person you can become. Let's take off the shackles. Let's remove any limiting beliefs you might have. Let's let the real full you come out and play. You ready?